Abraham was the father of God's chosen people. When Abraham was old, the Lord appeared to him. Abraham looked up on a hot day and saw three men standing near his tent. He invited them to rest and he gave them food and water. The men told Abraham that his wife, Sarah, was going to have a baby. Sarah listened at the entrance of the tent and when she heard this news, she laughed to herself. <laughs> when the men got up to continue their journey, Abraham walked with them for a ways. They looked out over the city of Sodom and the Lord decided to tell Abraham about his plan. The Lord said, I have heard about Sodom and Gomorrah. The people living there are wicked and their sin is very serious. I'm going to go see if they are as bad as people say. The men turned and went towards Sodom. Abraham stood there and asked, Lord, do you plan to destroy the good people along with the evil people? What if there are 50 good people in the city? Will you still destroy it? Surely you will save the city for the 50 good people living there. You are the judge of all the earth. Won't you do what is right? The Lord said, if I find 50 righteous people in Sodom, I will spare the whole city for their sake. Then Abraham answered, what if there's not quite 50? Will you destroy the, the whole city if, if there are five short? The Lord replied, I will not destroy the city if I find 45 righteous people there. And then Abraham asked, well, what if there are 40? God said, I will not destroy the city if there are 40 righteous people. What if there are 20? Abraham asked. The Lord said, I will not destroy the city if there are 20 righteous people. Abraham asked, suppose there are 10? The Lord answered, I will not destroy the city if I find 10 righteous people. Then the Lord departed and Abraham went back to his tent. The next morning, Abraham returned to the place overlooking Sodom and Gomorrah. All he saw was smoke because God had destroyed the cities. God is good to judge sin. He is the judge of all the earth, and he always does what is right. God will punish the guilty. The good news of the gospel is that Jesus took the punishment our sin deserves, and everyone who trusts in him is declared righteous before God.